The Cantillon effect is when you print and central bankers are providing more fiat, more liquidity into the system, they're doing it via financial assets. The people who are benefited are indeed wealthy, but it's not specifically the wealthy people. It's more people who are friends with the money printers make money off the people who are not friends with the money printers. Because when you inflate the money supply, it's not Bernanke's helicopter where it just drops $100 bills on everyone. Money is printed and first handed to a specific industry or group of people that the, the government, Federal Reserve and commercial bankers choose. Those people, because they now have more money, they get to benefit from the fact that the rest of the economy has not adjusted its prices to that new amount of money. And then by time that ripples all the way to people like you and I, we have to just bear the brunt of the higher prices. And this is the thing about inflation. It's a wealth redistribution scheme. And you're taking from everybody else and giving it to yourself. There's something really wrong about that, right? You know, who are the people that you see saying silly things like uh, hyperinflation is good for economies because it stops the concentration of wealth? They're the closest ones to the money spigot. They're the politicians. They're the intellectuals, the socialized intellectuals. Of course, they have reason to perpetuate this nonsense. I don't like to speak hyperbolically, but I find it hard not to call this the greatest con in human history. Right. I mean, they've been stealing vast swaths of our time, energy, effort, wealth, just by tweaking the money supply.